Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fast growing gear site on the web, and welcome to our best of full face helmets for 2023. What's up, SpeedX fan? Before we jump into our full face helmet buying guide for this year, do us both a favor and subscribe to the Speed Addicts channel. We're always getting first look in producing awesome buying guides for the gear that you're after. Subscribe, that way you don't miss out. Also, if you'd like to support us here at speedaddicts.com, you can do so by purchasing with us. There's gonna be links to all of these helmets we're gonna cover today in the description below, as well as in-depth uh, full breakdown videos for each one of these helmets. So if you wanna do the deep dive, you wanna geek out on a specific helmet, and I didn't cover it in this uh, buying guide, you can do so by hitting the description and jumping over to each one of these helmets. With that, let's jump into our favorite full face helmets for 2023. Our top contender for this year hails from Japan. We have the all new Contour X from Arai. Whenever there's a new Arai model dropping, it usually gets everyone's attention. The Contour X, no exception here. This helmet's been difficult to keep in stock because it is exceptional. They've made some uh, minor adjustments in many places that add up to a really exceptional product here. The Contour X is coming in at 740, 749. So this is not inexpensive. We're starting in the ultra premium category here. But what you're getting is that high level of craftsmanship out of Japan. You're getting a helmet that's really at home on virtually any machine. I don't care if you're on a sport bike, sport touring bike, dual sport bike, V-twin, you're gonna be stoked to be in a Contour X because it's gonna ventilate well. It fits like other Arise. It's very comfortable. Let's talk about the head shape. Previously, we had a gap with Arai head shapes Either you're in a Regent X or all the way up to the Corsair. The Quantum and uh, the Signet were for long ovals and round ovals, and those were kind of outliers. We have an intermediate oval head shape that's priced kind of right in the middle of the Arai pricing structure and feature set. So the Corsair is still considered the pick for the track, but if you're street rider or occasional track day rider, like I said, on virtually any machine, you should be in the Corsair X. They've done some really clever things. We have a ventilation built into the logo. Cool, innovative. We have uh, additional vents up here. The, the bores of the ventilation ducts have been increased to 10 millimeters, getting you more airflow. They're using their same uh, face shield, the Vaz V. So if you have uh, an other, another Arai helmet, you can reuse your face shields here. No surprises on the face shield. Arai always sticks to that R75 spherical design when it comes to the shell that's a safety thing they want the helmet to glance glance off they won't do those dramatic shapes but to update the contour x and give it a little bit more flair they moved to kind of this duck bill design on the diffuser i like it the ventilation underneath is switchable in case you're in cold weather they're going with dot and snell 2020 five shell sizes five eps's you can really customize the fit on an awry helmet and the thing i will say is it's just like a professional grade product. You know, it's like the difference between, you pick up the, the Ryobi and the Makita drill, you know, they're both drills, but they're just, the Arai's just different. It's built to last, it pays the dividends over those uh, extra years, five year warranty from Arai. This thing's gonna last you. You ride a lot or you appreciate the best, check it out. It is the Contour X. So you're after a premium helmet, but you don't want to pay an ultra premium price tag. I'm talking helmets can run six, seven, eight, nine hundred dollars these days. Well, that's where HJC's Arfa line comes in. The Arfa line is the Acura to their Honda. HJC was previously known for more of a value priced helmet. The Arfa line is a step up, uh, more premium materials, more premium feature set, and the Arfa 71 just landed this year. This helmet's been very well received. Again, we're going with a full face format. We're not gonna be talking about any modular helmets or dual sport helmets these days. Traditional full face chin bar, which is the best protection. Now the R471 price tag is gonna come in it. It starts with a four, 479 to 554. That's gonna kind of put you in the middle of that price range, but you're getting a lot for your money. First off, a composite construction with their PIM Evo shell making it relatively lightweight for a helmet that has that interior drop down sun visor. They've also updated the styling from the Arfa 70 to this Arfa 71. You have slightly different cues, new venting. They have inlays here. It just looks sweet. The venting is all easy to work. It's got big paddle venting. And uh, I really like how they did this top vent. It actually kind of raises up when you lift it. Now, one of the cooler things about the Arfa 71 that I really like is that you're going to get the functionality of that interior drop-down sun visor. So if that Arai wasn't for you or you're the type that wants that sun visor 
option then and you still want that premium helmet check out the rf 71 because you are going to get the drop down sun visor and the best thing about the the sun visor on this is that it's adjustable so it has three settings you can pick how far it's going to come down before it stops so that it fits all sorts of different face nose and eye positions inside of the helmet because everybody's a little different it's really annoying when your sun visor stops right here and it's right in the middle of your vision or it comes down too far and it hits your schnozzola. So the RF-71 is one of the only helmets we sell with that adjustability with the interior sun visor. It is ready to receive the Senna or the HAC smart system made by Senna. There's the 21B and the 50B for this helmet. Okay, it depends if you want mesh or some of the bigger feature sets. Again, I go into all the detail in the full length video on the RF-71 below. But the integrated comms is a very nice option. The install's simple. You know, it, there's not a big unit hanging off the side of your helmet. Now, the trade-off is if you wanna run a universal comm, you do have to mount it a little bit further back and get it out of the way of these doors that are made to receive the integrated comm solution sizes from extra small through 2X and DOT homologation, intermediate oval head shape, lots of venting on the 71 and just a really cool modern look. I really like actually what they did with the the lock over here this uh the switch here to hold down your your face shield is all kind of built into uh the shell construction and it's just a snazzy design that is it that is the rfa 71 new for 2023 and so we come to the weapon of choice for many of our hdd or v twin riders we have simpson we're talking about heritage here we have the distinctive simpson drag look you cannot mistake it for anything else. These things are clean. This is the Speed Bandit. Now this is the more affordable Simpson full face helmet. They also have the Outlaw and the Ghost Bandit if you wanna step it up. But the Speed Bandit is a really affordable way to get into a Simpson helmet coming in at just around 320 bucks depending on what flavor you go with here. So I've got the matte finish. Pretty much every Simpson that leaves our warehouse goes with uh, someone purchases an additional visor, you're gonna get the clear in the box, but they have a ton of different visor options. You can get pin lock inserts and they even have a pin lock insert that is photochromic or transition. So if you want that versatility in different lighting conditions. Other than that, this helmet is relatively simple. There's not a lot of bells and whistles. There's not a drop down visor and the interior is it's quilted, it's simple looking, it's kind of got that classic vibe here. Ventilation, again, simple, not switchable. So you're losing out on that, some of that functionality if you wanna step it up and get a few more of those creature comforts, check out the Ghost Bandit. Com system install is simple, it has speaker pockets on the inside. We also offer the new uh, Cardo uh, Edge unit that has the Simpson branding on it, we're checking out or you can just in install any other universal comm you want. The helmet is lightweight, it's polycarbonate shell coming in at three pounds, three ounces. It's DOT and EC2205. The fit is very straightforward, intermediate oval head shape, go by that Simpson sizing chart. And remember, when you're shopping for helmets, you really should be shopping with Speed Eyes because we have no cost returns. That's right, we don't nickel and dime you like those corporate moto outfits. We're gonna treat you like family. In a couple of clicks, you're gonna get that free return label if you decide the helmet's not for you or you have an issue with the fit. To qualify, all you have to do is live in the lower 48 states, make sure the gear is brand new in original condition with that packaging, and we will make sure to hook you up and get you back on two wheels. Next up on our list, we really have one of the best helmets dollar for dollar. If you're not on an extreme budget, you can you know spend more than $100 on a helmet, you can stretch it up to that $200 price tag. It's really difficult to beat the Scorpion XOT520. Let me tell you why. You're going to get an internal drop down sun visor, it's comm system ready, it's the latest safety standard, which is ECE2206 out of Europe, four drop tests, a stricter testing regimen, hopefully producing a safer helmet for your head. It was recent, recently released last year, very well reviewed, very comfortable, predictable fit, and pretty much everything you can want out of a full face helmet, especially at this price tag. The price starting at 199 for solids, moving up to 219 for different graphics. This is the Namasushi in case you're wondering. It is also sold with the Scorpion Exocom, which is made to receive as a package deal, like pre-installed, but only in matte black. Now, if you wanna do that, you can buy the matte black with the Exocom installed for 374. You save a few dollars um, as opposed to piecing it together. Now, if you want a graphic like this, then you do have to buy the Exocom separately. 
and go ahead and install it yourself. It's not stocked that way. Hopefully that makes sense. Three pounds, 13 ounces, DOT and EC2206, like I mentioned before. We have emergency quick release cheek pads. And one of the coolest features that you're gonna get, <clears throat> which is pretty awesome considering the price tag, is the Scorpion XO Air Fit system. Now this is meant to snug up the cheek pads. You're gonna pump that, yep, just like Reebok pump. You guys remember those. You can pump it up and it's inflating air bladders inside or right behind the cheek pads. So, you know, if you're really going for it, you want that extra snug fit, you can just pump it up. You're going in the canyons, you're going out to the track, you can ramp up the fit and get it to fit you nice and close. You're just cruising around town, you don't want that race fit, well don't inflate the bladders or go ahead and release that. Oh, you hear that noise? Pretty cool. So you can release the air, have a more comfortable, streetable fit. The option is yours. This is not meant to make up sizes. So if you get it out of the package and it's a little bit too loose, don't just think you're gonna make it up with the air fit system. I wouldn't recommend it. That's not the point. Okay. One thing I don't love about it is this, uh, this shield lock mechanism. I don't like it when manufacturers use like a, an extra piece on the actual face shield. I prefer when it's injection molded in and part of the helmet, but it's a minor nitpick. We've been selling this helmet for about a year now, just extremely well reviewed. And like I said, very difficult to beat at this price tag. Um, Scorpion XO T520, our winner at that $200 price point. Final helmet we've got on our list here for our best of full face helmets is the Z1R Jackal. Now Z1R usually ties up this final spot in a lot of our best of videos, be it modular or in this case full face, because they really deliver a lot for right around that $100 plus price tag. We're coming at $139 for the Jackal. Now the thing I like about the Jackal is the look. It looks bitchin', it's got a very unique shell design these ducts for your ventilation are actually like part of the whole helmet concept. It's very unique. You also get colorways that you don't typically get at an entry level price point. This is like the satin blue color. I don't know if the camera's really doing it justice, but in person, person and outside, it's really got a cool shine to it. You know, it's the ducting comes all the way to the back, just very unique from the Jackal. In the front, uh, you will notice that there is a drop down visor in here and that is actuated over on the left side. The Jackal's ready to receive any sort of comm system. You might wanna install universal comm, speaker pockets, your dialed in fit. Uh, Z1R, very predictable, fits true to size. And so if you're on a budget, you're new to riding, you're just trying to pick up a helmet for a passenger, the Jackal is really badass, especially on pretty much anything, sport bike, V-twin, you name it, unique uh, colorways, like I said before, and Z1R has been around for a long time, it's a brand you can trust. Sure, you could go buy that $80 helmet on Amazon from God knows where, but don't do that. Go with a name you can trust and you're still gonna save some money here. Three shell sizes, that does it for that Z1R Jackal. Now, if you still have questions, that concludes our buying guide, but don't worry, Rider Support is still standing by at speedaddicts.com where you can talk to a human over the phone, emails, or live chats. If you got one of these lids, don't just take my word for it. Let the community know what you think about them if you've already got one and drop a comment in the section below. That does it for today. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.